Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Of all things to talk about, Nicki Minaj, right? I don't know anything about Nicki Minaj, but I know this much. And before I get flying here, I just wanted to give a shout out to Ashley. Thank you very much for reaching out to the channel and helping out. It means a lot. I appreciate it. But Nicki Minaj, why talk about her? I don't know anything about her. I couldn't name a single song. I don't follow her. Um, it's just not on my wheelhouse, okay? But she's under attack. Why? Because people in this setting, these one percenters and these people that are pushing all these current agendas and pushing the current understanding and the narratives that we're all forced to adhere by, is also herself now under attack because they will eat their own. They hold her on a pedestal, they ignore anything negative about her, but if she does something that interferes with their current narrative, just like anyone else who does, they will bury her. And that's what's happening right now. They are burying Nicki Minaj. They're trying to cancel her. She's already been suspended from Twitter. And all she really did was ask a question. And she realizes this. She was on Instagram. I went and I looked at, at what she had to say on Instagram. I encourage you to look at it and paraphrase it a little bit. But she's come to that conclusion. Holy crap. Yeah. They're trying to shut me down. They're not letting me speak. All I did was ask some questions. I didn't say pro or against getting the you know what. Because that's what she's talking about. And I can't say it. I can't even say it. If I do, I've been warned by ScrewTube. They'll, they'll shut down the video. They'll, um, they'll cancel me. I've, I've been suspended before. I've had videos pulled down without even an email as a courtesy. But with people like her in the 1% kind of category... It doesn't happen to people like that unless they rub against the grain and she's figured that out and she it, it's actually almost kind of passionate to listen to it, it surprises me because she doesn't come off that way but in that Instagram little uh, video that she does she basically says that she remembers paraphrasing going to church as a little girl and how they told her, you know, you should be thankful that you can uh, come to church, that you can uh, worship the way you want to. In other countries, uh, you can't have a Bible, you can't believe what you want to believe, you know. And that's true. There are countries where you can be put in prison, you can be executed for your religious beliefs. And the bulb came on for her after the firestorm on Twitter, after being attacked by people in the media, and then after having Twitter um, shut her down and suspend her account, I don't know how long it's suspended for. She claims it basically screw you, Twitter. I'm not going back there anyway. She had 22 million followers on Twitter, which is, you know, a pretty big number for Twitter. If I had a Twitter, I'd probably have like five. <laughs> but you see the point that they won't let me even ask questions what the hell is this? And then she makes the analogy that 50 years ago, 30 years ago, even 20 years ago, um, when you talked about other countries and how they treated people, that's where we are now. That's what happened to us in the United States. And she's right. She's absolutely right. And it remains to be seen how this plays out. That's why this whole situation with Nicki Minaj is more important that you, than you think. Because she's one of the biggest figureheads to get attacked for this thus far in the United States. She's one of the biggest uh, personalities, if you will, to get thrown under the bus to stay on course with the current government and media's narrative about how we should all live and think and obey. She, she realized, wow, I'm, I'm not exempt. And it, it kind of scared her, I think. And it should scare everyone because we don't even have the, the money and fame and everything that someone like she does. And yeah, welcome to the club in a manner of speaking, not trying to be sarcastic, but hey, Nikki, welcome to the club. Because it's been happening to hundreds of thousands of us, if not more. I, as I pointed out, I've been suspended I've been, uh, I've had videos pulled down. I've been threatened by uh, ScrewTube for doing the exact same thing. 
Hey, folks, what do you think about this? Hey, have you noticed that? You can't do that. You can't do that. And that's a dictatorship. That's a straight-up dictatorship. When they punish you for having your own thoughts, for having your own ideas, for questioning things, for not trusting and being obedient, which you should always question and never trust, is one of the th phrases I hate the most, trust the science. The science ha has a long history of being either wrong or dishonest because they were paid off or, or coerced. Trust the science indeed. You're not a scientist, neither are you. <laughs> neither are you. Oh, well, you have to trust the doctors. Guess what? They're not scientists either. They know what they've been told to know. Ask any doctor. If they're honest, <laughs> they'll tell you that they don't run laboratory experiments. They don't know anything either. They know what they've been told to know. They follow the narrative too. That's another topic of discussion. But this is very important to see how this plays out. And it's my understanding also now she's been invited to the White House, and that's interesting. And I'd like to see how this plays out. I'd like to see where this ends with her, whether she will continue to stand her ground or back off, and how that will impact everyone else. That's why this is important. Are people going to get behind it and start to wake up a little more and say, hey, yeah, you know what? This is really messed up. This is really messed up. And wow, they're even, they'll even go after their own. And yeah, you know what? Maybe she's right if she continues to stand her ground because three things will happen in any kind of a meeting whether she does it online whether someone comes to her whether she goes to them and talks to somebody she's going to talk to somebody sooner or later one they'll try to reason with her try to see it our way if and when that doesn't work two they will try to bribe her with you and me, the bribe was the stimulus check, by the way. <laughs> that was the bribe. They'll try to bribe you. That's number two. If and when that doesn't work, number three is to be threatened. Will she continue to hold her ground or will she fold? And it's just, like I said, it's a matter of time to find out how far this is going to go, whether she's going to continue to stand her ground or whether she's going to fade away or change her perspective follow the leader because she is afraid of losing whatever it is that she has which is substantial by the way this is a wealthy famous person we're talking about it's not like me no one cares what i think <laughs> certainly not the government although apparently screwtube cares a great deal about what i think because their ai system targets me constantly which is why I have all the cat images. It actually helps with that algorithm. Try it yourself if you've been having problems. <laughs> and they are my own photographs of strays that I work with. Anyways, thoughts about that? Again, I think this is very important because you can see how we're being all ground up here. You can see how a lot of countries are being ground up and forced and falling into a dictatorship kind of rule while being told how free we are at the same time. A lot of double standards going on. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up. Easiest way to show your appreciation, share it if you can, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Check out some of the other videos if you haven't. And again, share it and check it out because it's probably the only way it'll get seen because ScrewTube really does slam the crap out of this channel. They, they make it almost impossible. Um, if you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps and I sure do appreciate it. And so what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.